Well there, welcome back to another video. My name is Dunjum and this is my adventure bus. If you've been keeping up with the channel, then you know that in the past couple of videos, we've been redoing and remodeling the interior of the adventure bus. In this video, we are going to be working on this back room as you can tell. But see, in the past couple of videos, I've already filmed all this. So even though we have a bunch of work to do back here, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna really do it. Or I will do it behind the scenes, but I'm not gonna film it too much. I don't want to bore you guys with six videos worth of painting, cutting pieces of wood, staining wood, and nailing wood to other wood. In this video, we have some new seats, and we are gonna be making two captain chairs in the front of the bus. Speaking of which, huge thank you to Corbu for sponsoring this video. So for these chairs, I have a awesome idea that's going to allow both the driver's and the passenger seat chair to rotate 360 degrees and to be really easily removed. So when we're driving, we can have a driver's and passenger seat. Once we park somewhere, we can pull the passenger seat out so we can get in and out of the door easier. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, these are nice. No crazy race seat, no nothing, nothing insane. Just an incredibly nice looking and incredibly comfy black leather seat. They look fantastic. They are super well priced. Let me kind of show you the idea for the mechanism to make them rotate. We'll make a base that bolts to the bus. This base will have a two inch round tube. Inside those tubes will be two bearings. The seat will have its own base with a smaller diameter tube that slots in. Right here we'll have just normal sliders. To prevent the seat from moving left and right whenever you don't want it to, we'll have a handle right here that you can tighten, which will just tighten a bolt against the inner tube, which is connected to the seat. That will hopefully prevent it from turning. So without any further ado, let's remove the stock seat and get to work. What do we have here? It's my best friend, the Torx bit. Why, Ford? If this don't do it, nothing will. It actually started moving. It's coming out. Look at all this real estate. So after cutting some metal, I realized that I did not get enough metal to make two swivel chairs. So the driver's seat will only go forward and backwards. The passenger seat will still swivel. So for the driver's seat, harvesting the old uh, mount, I'm gonna put the new seat with sliders on there and throw it in. It opens up so much room. That's so nice. Now we're not gonna bolt it in right now because we have to rip out all this carpeting, put sound editing in, and we have to clean it because 
Yikes, this seat looks now so much better than the rest of this interior. We really need to spruce up the rest of the interior. Before we pull that out, we're gonna go ahead and do this passenger seat. We want the passenger seat to sit right about here, which you know obviously is in the way of the door, which is why it's gonna be easily removable. So when you wanna get in and out, you can just kinda shove it in that corner. Passenger seat is not necessary, but I really want one because whenever we go on long trips, whether it's with the boys or with Audrey, passengers always end up sitting right here on the floor. So they can talk to me and keep me company, which I really appreciate it because I'm the one who's driving. The point is that I don't want them to have to sit on the floor. I want them to be able to sit in a seat up here, be comfortable, be able to hang out with me while I'm driving. But then when we park, get it out of the way. Yep, right here is good. It's perfect. So now we start making the mount. supposed to weld uh, a bearing that will just ruin you know the insides but I did it anyway because guess what all this is really doing is making a seat move in circles this will have about one revolution per month <laughs> so if it's not the uh, most smooth bearing I think it's okay and even now it's still and it's still awesome but I'm gonna weld another bearing on the bottom weld that there make some braces pretty it up and then make the part that goes into it. So our rod fits in there nicely. And look at that. In order to take all the load off of the bottom bearing, uh, I'm gonna weld a little sleeve on here that makes it so it rests on this top bearing some too. base nearly finished we have these braces so it's incredibly sturdy it's all TIG welded up welds look great so we just have to drill out the hole a little bit bigger so now we have to make the top part here are the sliders here are some brackets we will weld that and weld this onto that, make some braces, some triangles, and that will be it. <laughs> hard work this contraption 
This beautiful contraption is on the seat. So that is the seat part. Well guys, it works. The reason why I did this rather than like harvest um, the bottom of like a desk chair, because this is all solid quarter inch metal. This won't break in an accident, whereas I don't trust something else. So now we have to bolt the bottom part into the bus and test it. All right, we got the uh, the mount bolted in. Cool thing about this is that we could actually even just leave that in. It is ugly and it's in the way, but we can always leave that in for temporary purposes. It doesn't get in the way. It's not a very big trip hazard. Very solid, so that's all good. You know, just chilling in the passenger seat of my bus. Plenty of room to get in and out, even with the seat in. And this isn't even all the way back, so I can turn it. I'm assuming that when we're driving, it'll be somewhere in this rotation. If you close the door, actually, then you can lean back all the way onto it, and it's uh, it's comfortable, it's a little bit sturdier. The mount is very sturdy. There is a little bit of flex in the actual floor, though. It, it doesn't really flex, but there's a little bit of play. <laughs> but like, that's that's pretty awesome. And like I said, not too hard to get in and out when it's right there. Well guys, believe it or not, that's it for this video. I know, probably the best video I've ever produced on this channel, ever. I'll start off the outro of this amazing video by apologizing. The last couple of days I have been incredibly busy with things outside of the current YouTube stuff. Last Saturday, Pasha and I did a 24-hour Miata challenge where we were literally stuck inside Molly for 24 hours straight. You'll see that video probably next. That obviously took up a full day. Sunday, Audrey and I went car shopping. Monday, Audrey and I went back to car shopping and actually purchased a car for her. Incredibly awesome car, really, really fun to drive. You guys will see that very shortly. And then Tuesday, I started working on this project and today is Wednesday. I absolutely adore fabricating stuff and making stuff myself. That's probably my favorite thing nowadays is welding and fabricating. But it certainly takes a while. Making that seat mount took most of Tuesday and all of today. Literally, I got here at 9 a.m. Right now it's like seven o'clock and I've been working on that thing all day. So that's why this video took a little bit longer to make. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. If you want to support the channel and help make projects possible, please go check out Patreon. I'm starting to do a podcast on Patreon, which will be awesome. And I think we're going to do it right here in the bus. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for the continued support. Peace out and have a great day. I'm